हेलो एवरीवन आज वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड अबाउट द कंसेप्ट पॉलीमोर्फिज्म नाउ वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द पेरोल सिस्टम बाय यूजिंग द पॉलीमोर्फिज्म हाउ दिस पेरोल सिस्टम इज यूजफुल इन द कंपनी एप्लीकेशंस सो वी आर कंसीडरिंग वन एग्जांपल हियर सो कंसीडर वन प्रॉब्लम देयर अ कंपनी पेज इट्स एम्प्लॉइज ऑन अ वीकली बेसिस so employees are of the four types salaried employees are paid a fixed weekly salary regardless of the number of hours worked hourly employees are paid by the hour and uh, receive overtime pay also for all the hours worked in excess of the 40 hours uh, third type of the employees the commission employees these are paid a percentage of their sales last one is the salaried commission employees receive a base salary plus a percentage of their sales and uh, for this current pay period the company has decided to reward the salaried commission employees by adding the 10 percentage to their base salaries so company wants to implement a java application that performs its payroll calculations polymorphically now see here first there is a, a employee class that is abstract is created and that is used to represent the general concept of an employee so this classes that extend the employees are the salaried employee commission employee and hourly employee the last one class is the base plus commission employee class which extends the commission employee class which represents the last employee type so each employee regardless of the way his or her earnings are calculated uh, each employee has a first name each employee has a last name and a social security number so these private instance variables first name last name and the social security number appear in the abstract super class employee so first uh, we have to create the abstract super class employee so in that super class there are the two methods are created earnings and the two string and so in addition uh, uh, these two methods there are the get and set methods also that manipulate the employees instance variables like uh, first name last name and the social security number so there is a uh, an earnings method is used uh, which is uh, applies to all the employees but each earnings calculations depends on the employees class so we declare the earning class as an abstract class in the super class employee why we are declaring uh, the abstract here because a default implementation does not make a sense for that method so there is not enough information to determine what amount of the earnings should return so each uh, subclass overrides earnings with an appropriate implementation here and to calculate an employee's earnings the program assigns a reference to the employee's object to a super class employee variable and uh, this uh, then variable invokes the earnings method on that variable so next method is uh, we maintain an array of the employees variables each of which holds a reference to an employee object so employee objects uh, uh, because uh, there cannot be employee object because employee is an abstract class so there cannot be object there Uh, because of the inheritance all the objects of subclasses of employee may nevertheless be thought of an employee object so so this program iterates through the array and calls method earnings for each employee object uh, the java processes these method calls polymorphically here including earnings as an abstract method in the employee forces every direct subclass of employee to override the earning because uh, there is a super class employee is the abstract class so in order to become a concrete class this enables the designer of the class hierarchy to demand that uh, each concrete subclass provide an appropriate pay calculation so another method is uh, first method is the earning method and second is the two string method is used in the abstract super class employee so, so this a uh, two string method is used to return a string containing the first name last name and the social security number of the employee uh, and each subclass of employee overrides the method two string to create a string representation of an object of that class that contains the employee's type salaried employee followed by the rest of the employee's information then uh, why there is a need to declare the earnings as an abstract method because by declaring this method abstract we can indicate that each concrete subclass must provide an appropriate earnings implementation and that's why program can be able to use the superclass employee variables to invoke the method earnings 
polymorphically for any type of the employee uh, now see here the program uh, we have created here the employee super class that is abstract class and in that there are the three variables are declared uh, who's are private first name last name and social security number and there is a three argument constructor is also created here uh, there are the arguments are the first last and the social security number so here the set method is used to set the first name of the employee then uh, get method is used to get the uh, first name of the employee then uh, set last method also set uh, get last uh, last name also then get uh, set social security number and get social security number and here two string method is used and here a string method is used to get the first name last name social security number and uh, abstract method is their earnings so here this is abstract, earning method is abstract so no implementation is here and this abstract class must be overridden in another subclasses of this employee superclass so next is our next super subclass is the salaried employee and this is a this class is also called as a concrete subclass of the abstract superclass employee so see here uh, sa class salaried employee extends the class employee and overrides the earnings method which makes the salaried employee a concrete class so this class includes a constructor uh, that takes a first name last name social security number and a weekly salary as arguments the set method is also used to assign a new a new non negative value to the instance variable weekly salary and a get method uh, to return the weekly salary's values and there is a method earnings also to calculate the salaried employee earnings and a method to string which returns a string including the employee's type that is namely salaried employee and followed by the employee specific information is produced by the superclass employees to string method and the salaried employees get weekly salary method uh, class salaried employees constructor passes the first name last name and social security number to the employee constructor to initialize the private instance variables not inherited from the superclass so method earnings overrides the abstract method earnings in employee to provide a concrete implementation that returns the salaried employee's weekly salary so here if we do not implement the earnings then class salaried employee must be declared as abstract why because uh, there is a abstract uh, method is there and otherwise the compilation error will be occurred so next class is our next concrete class is the early employee class this class also extends the employee superclass this class includes a constructor that takes as arguments a first name last name and a social security number and early wage and the number of the hours worked so set method is used to assign the new values to the instance variables wage wag wage and the hours respectively the method set wage ensures that wage is non negative and the method set hours ensures that the hours hours is between 0 and 168 that is total number of the hours in a week inclusive so class early employee also includes a get methods also to return the values of the wage and the hours respectively a method earnings to calculate an early employee earnings and a method to string which returns the employee's type namely early employee and a employee specific information the early employee constructor like the salaried employee constructor passes the first name last name and social security number to the superclass employee constructor uh, is used to initialize the private instance variables in addition the method to string calls the superclass method to string to obtain the employee specific information that is first name last name and social security number so this is a very uh, nice example of the code reuse this is all about the early employee class next class is the commission employee this is also uh, the concrete subclass of the uh, superclass employee so class commission employee extends the class employee the class includes a constructor that takes a first name last name social security number and a sales amount and a commission rate 
in this class the set methods is also used to assign the new values to the instance variables that is the commission rate and the gross sales respectively get methods are used to retrieve the values of this instance variables the method earning is used to calculate the commissioner's employees earnings and the method to string is used to return the employee's type namely commission employee and the employee specific information and the constructor also passes the first name last name and social security number to employee's constructor to initialize the employee's private instance variables here the method to string calls the superclass method to string to obtain the employee specific information uh, this is all about the commission employee class the last one class is our base plus commission employee class so this class base plus commission employee extends the class commission employee and therefore uh, it is uh, we can say that this is an indirect subclass of the class employee so this class uh, base plus commission employee has a constructor that takes as arguments a first name last name social security number a sales amount a commission rate and a base salary uh, these are uh, uh, arguments then passes the first name last name social security number and sales amount and commission rate to the commission employee constructor to initialize the inherited members base plus commission also contains a set method it is used to assign a new value to the instance variable base salary and the get method get method is used to return the base salary's value the earnings method is used to calculate the base plus commission employee's earnings so here earning method calls the superclass commission employees earnings method to calculate the commission based a portion of the employees earning so this is also again a nice example of the code reuse so here base plus commission employees to string method is used to create a string representation of an base plus commission employee that contains the base salary followed by the string obtained by invoking the superclass commission employees to string method so result is that string beginning with the base salary commission employee followed by the rest of the base plus commission employees information so commission employee to string uh, is used to obtain the employee's first name last name and social security number by invoking the to string method of a superclass that is employee so here the base plus commission employees to string initiates a chain of the method calls that span all three levels of the employee hierarchy this is all about the base plus commission employee and now we are demonstrating the our um, uh, payroll system that is by using the payroll system class so see here uh, to test our employee hierarchy uh, the application is created and uh, and that application creates an object of the each of the four concrete classes and that classes are the salaried employee class hourly employee class commission employee class and the base plus commission employee class so this program manipulates these objects first via variables of the each objects of own type and then uh, second type is the polymorphically using an array of the employee variables uh, in this program while processing the objects polymorphically the program increases the base salary of the each base plus commission employee by 10% and uh, finally the program polymorphically determines and outputs the type of the each object in the employee array so of these objects create each of the four concrete employee subclasses the string representation of uh, and earnings of these objects so each objects uh, to string method is called implicitly by printf when the object is output as a string with the percentage format specifier so we are in this program uh, i have used a percentage that is format specifier here so this uh, all about the employee abstract class there are the four uh, sub classes of that employee abstract class salaried employee hourly employee commission employee and base plus commission employee and now for testing this application i have created one another class that is payroll system test class now you can see this output uh, here of this program so employees process the first individually so there are the salaried employees are there john smith then social security number weekly salary and then earned 
सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय इज द आर्ली एम्प्लॉई द कैरियन प्राइस सोशल सिक्यूरिटी सोशल सिक्यूरिटी नंबर इज हियर आर्ली वेज एंड आर्ली आर्स वर्कड एंड दर अर्नड कमीशन एम्प्लॉई थर्ड टाइप ऑफ द एम्प्लॉज द कमीशन एम्प्लॉई स्यू जोन्स द सोशल सिक्यूरिटी नंबर इज देअर क्रॉस सेल्स आर देअर कमीशन रेट एंड अर्निंग ऑल्सो देअर देन लास्ट टाइप ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय इज द बेस प्लस बेस सैलरीड एम्प्लॉय बेस सैलरीड कमीशन एम्प्लॉय दैट बॉब लेविज द सोशल सिक्यूरिटी नंबर ऑफ दैट कमीशन दैट एम्प्लॉय इज दिस ग्रॉस सेल्स आर दिस कमीशन रेट बेस सैलरी इज दिस एंड अर्निंग आर देअर सो दिस इज द प्रोसेसिंग एम्प्लॉई इंडिव्यूजली नाउ वी आर प्रोसेसिंग द एम्प्लॉई पॉलिमोर्फिकली हियर so there are the salaried employee john smith social security number weekly salary earning then early employee current price social social security number wages uh, working hours commission employee sue jones social security number gross sales base uh, base salary commission employee bob levis social security number commission rate gross sales base salary new base salary with the 10 percentage increase also is there then here the employee zero is the payroll system dot salary employee there employee first is the uh, employee one is the uh, early employees there so employee two is the payroll system commission employees there and employee three is the payroll system base plus commission employees there okay these are all about the concept of the polymorphism and how we can use this concept of polymorphism to implement the payroll system for one kind of uh, for one of the 